Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video of C++ functions. If you're a beginner to C++, make sure to watch my C++ for beginners playlist. And there you can really find some of the most important concepts that you need to understand as someone who learns C++. And also you can find a lot of exercises that you are going to find useful for practicing C++. And in this video I wanted to talk about functions, more specifically about function parameters or arguments. And before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon as well so that you are notified when I publish my next video. And also follow me on my other social media profiles, so through Code Beauty, Instagram and Twitter accounts, in order to get a little bit of a sneak a peek into a developer's life, so how really developer life looks like. So without further ado, let's start with today's lesson. So as I said, in this video I want to talk about C++ function parameters or arguments. And the first thing that I want to explain is what are parameters, so what are arguments. And in my previous video we have talked about C++ functions, so if you haven't watched that video make sure to do so, I'm going to link it here. And Sometimes a function needs to receive a certain value, a certain variable, and then perform a certain task on that value, so on that variable, or it really needs the value of that variable in order to perform a certain task. So let's explain how we are going to create a function that receives a parameter in C++. So here I'm going to add a function of return type void, and I'm going to say that that function is going to be called, let's say, um, introduce me, introduce me, like this. And then in these parentheses here, we can put parameters that our function is going to receive. And after that, in these curly brackets, we are going to put the body of our function. So, as I said, in these parentheses here, we are going to put parameters and they are specified in the following way. So first you are going to write out the type of your parameter and that is going to be string, like this. And then we are going to specify the name of our parameter and that is going to be, let's say, name. So we want to pass in this function that is going to introduce our user, we want to really pass the name of our user. And then what our function is going to do, we are going to put in these curly brackets here, and that is going to be really to introduce our user. So our function is going to write out C out, um, let's say my name is, and then let's write out this name that we have received in this function. So I'm going to say name, and I'm going to add end line, like this. Okay, so this is the way to pass a parameter, so to pass a value to your function. And as I said in my previous video, you can really separate this um, declaration and definition of a function. So you can put really um, declaration of your function here, so before your main function, and then you can put definition of your function after your main function. And if you don't know how to do that, make sure to watch my first video of this playlist. Okay, so now I want to invoke this function here. And how we do that? Well, we specify the name of my function. So I'm going to say introduce me. And then since this, this function receives um, argument, so since this function, function receives a parameter here, we really have to pass that parameter to our function. And that I'm going to put here. So here I'm going to pass an argument to my function. So I'm going to say Saldina, like this, and this here really is called argument, so it is a value that we pass to our function, and then here it is called parameter, okay? So now if I run my program, you can see that my function has successfully introduced me. So it says my name is Saldina, like this. Okay, so here we have really here we have really um, defined our function, so the parameters that our function receives, name, return type, and then uh, the block of code that our function is going to execute. And then here we have invoked our function and passed an argument 
which is this string of text here, to our function, which is going to be received in this name variable. And then our function is going to really treat it as a variable, which means that it is going to write that value here. Okay, and now if I try to invoke this function once more, so I'm going to copy this, this line and then paste it here. And let's say that I'm going to pass it a different value. So I'm going to say, for example, Anna. Okay, you can see that uh, now our function has successfully introduced two users. So it has said, my name is, my name is Saldina, and then my name is Anna. And there is also another thing that I want to explain, and that is going to be how you can pass multiple arguments to your function. And that is going to be in a following way. So here, in these parentheses, where I have specified my first parameter, you can put comma sign, and then you specify your second, third, fourth, fifth, and um, your other parameters. So you specify the type, which is also going to be string in this particular case. And let's say that my second parameter is going to be called city, like this. And let's add another one. So let's say int age, like this. So now in this function, I'm going to write out also where is my user from and also how old my user is. So I'm going to write out C out. Um, I am from. And then let's write out this city that we have passed in this function and add also end line. And let's write out also I am, I am um, age. So I am however many years we have passed in this function. And then let's say years old, old like this. Okay. So now we have really introduced our user in more detail and we have passed to this function name city and age information for our user. But as you can see here, our function, so our compiler really says that this function is not valid. It has too few arguments in a function call, meaning that this invocation, this call of a function does not really contain all the necessary parameters or all the necessary arguments that we need to pass to our function, which means that it really lacks the city and age Parameter. So here I'm going to put comma as well, and then I'm going to specify my city. This here is bolded, so it is bold, and that means that we have to really pass a city value to our function. So I'm going to write out mostar like this, and then I am also going to specify age. So I'm going to say 25. And let's do the same for our Anna user. So I'm going to say that our Anna is from New York. And let's say that she has 27 years old, for example. So now when I run my program, you can see that we have successfully introduced two users. So my name is Saldina. I am from Mostar. I am 25 years old. And then also my name is Anna. I'm from New York and I'm 27 years old. Okay, so, and we have really written this code only once, and then we can reuse it however many times we need to. So in this particular case, we have used it two times. Okay, and another thing that I want to explain is going to be a default parameter. So what is default parameter? Sometimes you really don't want to pass a value to your function, meaning that in a specific situation, you don't have that value or you don't want to pass it. And in that case, you want to define, define um, the default value for your parameter. So in the case where, you use, where your user does not pass that argument to your function, for example, you can say that your age parameter here has the default value of zero, okay? And that means that you don't really have to pass this age parameter anymore. So here I'm going to delete this age for my Anna user. And let's run our program now in order to see how this function is going to behave for this first user and then also to see how it is going to behave for this second user, user which did not specify this age parameter, so this age argument. And 
when I run it, you can see that my first user has been introduced as it was previously. So I am 25 years old. And then the second user, which did not specify age argument, it really said I am zero years old, meaning that our function has really taken this default value and it has written out I am and then this default value and then years old. Oh, we are mi missing S here. Okay, so I'm going to add S. And I want to do a following thing. So in the case where our user does not pass this value for our age parameter, I'm going to really check whether we have that value or we have this default value. And then in the case where we have only this default value, I don't want to write this line of code here. So I am going to say here, if age is not equal to zero, meaning that our user has specified some other value which is not zero, then and only then we are going to write this line of code. But in the case where we have only this default value, we do not really want to write out that our user has zero years old because that does not make sense. Okay, so as you can see now, my first user has been introduced as I am 25 years old. And then my name is Anna, I am from New York. Since Anna did not specify how old she is, we haven't written out her age here because of this check that we have added. Okay, so that was about default parameter. And there is one thing also that I want to um, that I want to say about this default parameter, and that is going to be really, if I delete this is equal to zero, and then I try to assign default value to this city parameter. So I say, let's say that city is equal to default, like this. You can see that the compiler is really underlying this function, and it says, okay, it says default argument not at end of parameter list, meaning that you can specify default argument only at the end of this list. So if you want to specify default value for this parameter, you will have to specify default value for this one as well. So if I add default value here, so I have added zero, then we can really add a default value for this second parameter, and then we can add default value for this one as well. And now we are really uh, left with, so our compiler is not underlying this uh, introduce me function name anymore. Okay, and this does not make sense, so I'm going to delete it, but I wanted to explain that you cannot specify default value for your middle parameter if you did not specify a default value at the end of your parameters list. And there is one more thing that I want to show you, and that is going to be that you don't have to hard code these values as we did here. So I'm going to comment these out, and then I'm going to let my user define his own values for these three variables. So I am going to declare uh, two variables of type string, which are going to be name and city. And then also I'm going to declare a variable of type int, which is going to be called age. And then I'm going to say C out. So please enter a name like this. It's not capital letter, okay. And then C in name and then C out city. So after my user has entered name, I want him to enter city. So C in city like this. And then also I want to enter age and C in age like this. So now after my user has, has specified these three variables, so name, city, and age, I can pass these three in my introduce me function. So I can say introduce me and then pass name and city and age like this. And if I run my program now, as you can see, my program really asks me to enter a name. So let's say that name is going to be Tom, for example. And then let's say that city is going to be London and age, let's say 32. Okay. And now, as you can see, my function has successfully introduced Tom. So it says, my name is Tom. 
I am from London and I am 32 years old. Okay, and you don't really have to use these names for the variables in your main function. So the names of these variables here do not have to be the same as these names here. here. So you can call these, for example, name1, city1, age1, but you are going to have to use these names in your main function. So you will have to say name1, city1, age1, and here as well. But these names do not have to be the same as these names here. Your program is going to work correctly. You have to, however, have the same type here and here. So this here has to be string if it has been declared a string here. And this one as well. And then age also has to be of type int if it has been declared as int here. And once more, if I run my program, you can see that it asks for name. So Tom, New York, and then age is going to be 22. And as you can see, my name is Tom. I'm from New York. I am 22 years old. So your program works just fine. So I hope that you have understood how parameters behave in a function and how you can pass multiple parameters to your function and also how you can specify a default parameter in your function. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, make sure to subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon so that you are notified when I publish my next video. Also like it and share it with your friends. And follow me on my other social media, so Instagram and Twitter accounts, True Code Beauty. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.